Okay guys, Shea Bear 1000 here. Today we're going to start some work on the old golf cart here. First thing I'm going to do is clean out the bed. That is also a seat. It'll flip up and it'll be a seat. <clears throat> but we're going to start by cleaning that out and we're going to take the side curtains off of it. We're going to try to get them washed. I don't know if I'm going to wash them today, but we're going to do the batteries we're going to get all the batteries out get new battery terminal winds on a couple new cables and we're going to go from there so stick around i'll show you what we're going to do okay i'll show you for those of you that don't know we've got this mess and if you can see, these two center batteries are falling down in through the floor. See? Because these batteries leak, and when they leak, they'll eat up anything. Especially steel and stuff like that. The acid will. Uh, so I'm going to make a couple cables out of that thing. I've got all new ends to put. There's some ends that's going to need to be replaced. There's one there. And, uh, one needs to be replaced there you know and so on that doesn't belong on there so that's going to need to be replaced you know stuff like that but we're going to take all these batteries out of here so i can get to that floor i may have to take this seat thing off of here i don't know but in order to do all that i gotta make room so i gotta take these side curtains off of here <laughs> Now what they do is they just slide out of these tracks right here. They, they'll slide right out. But I got, like this one's got a screw in the bottom of it because the snaps are broke. Uh, this has a bird nest up inside of it, but that's like two years, two years old. So there's nothing in it. Don't have to worry about that. Um, it's just fading. Some damn, I'll put new ones on but I never did like this plastic because um, but you can't see out of it after a while uh, we're going to shorten this wire up here these two there's two wires inside here we're going to shorten that up for the pop box yeah the monkey's going to get some stuff we're going to uh, pressure wash it all down make it look good again uh, this windshield broke I want to take it out and it broke and all it does I, c I can fix that I'm not worried about that right now but it just slides down in here like this and there's another top piece that goes up here somehow I forget how it goes on but it goes up there and um, uh, it's got like a little windshield wiper on it but you have to use it by hand <laughs> all right so yeah it, it's time it needs a it needs a lot of work some snaps there okay yeah so what i'm going to do i'll show you how to how we're going to take this one off and then i'll speed you up through the rest i know it's pretty boring so stick around guys and let's let's get into this and um, like I said, I'll clean that back out too. So, yeah, it's uh, it's looking pretty nasty sitting under the trees and stuff because they always kept in the garage, but you know, can't fit it in there. So, <laughs> all right, guys. That's one, but I want to get this back cleaned out here first, and uh, I'll speed you up through that. I'm going to go get a trash bag, a couple pop cans, and I don't know what all's in there. I think that's pretty much it, but there's that battery there, and, you know, just kind of get that stuff off of there. The seat underneath, 
I'm not sure what kind of shape it's in. I've never seen it flipped up. He used to have like side rails on it. Uh, wood side rails painted white. It looked pretty cute. Looked like a little truck. But anyway, I'm going to go get a trash bag. We started on this. a couple of them batteries are poofed out and kind of swollen that's a sign that they're going bad they're all those are six volt batteries they're all reading over six volts so but they're pushing 10 years old and they're the never starts so that's pretty good um, but yeah So anyway, now we're going to just start taking all them cables off of there so I can get these batteries out of here. Okay guys, this is what it looks like with all the batteries out. I didn't even film that because I had to lift a battery halfway out and then lift it over to there and then take a five minute break. So that's not the frame. The frame are those round pieces over there. That's the frame. The frame looks good. Okay, so I just talked to you guys for like five minutes. And I wasn't recording. I don't think. Sweating on the uh, screen of my camera, so that could have shut it off. I don't know. Anyway, there's what we're looking at. The frame, this is not the frame, guys. The frame is there. That round piece there. This round piece that comes over here. And that's where the swing arm hooks onto. I think it's okay. I gotta get that battery charger out of there and find out. Look underneath it. Um, this is the frame. So so far the frame looks okay. I mean it's gonna need cleaned up, painted, but it looks okay. That's the that's the floorboard or battery tray, whatever you want to call it, that sits in there that the battery set in. So what I'm gonna do is I gotta get this all this rust knocked down off of here. Then I gotta sweep all this up. If it was dirt, I would just blow it over there with the blower, but it's rust and I don't wanna do that. So I'll just back this up once I get all this rust down out of here and then I'll sweep it up and then everything will be good. We can start on, figure out what I'm gonna do for floorboard. I may have to go get a piece of steel. I don't know. We just have to see guys that this is, it was hooked on there at the bottom so it won't be nothing to take that out really one bolt now is all we got to take that out that's that's going to stay in the power control thing there so let me get this cleaned up Whew, and i'll bring you back i didn't film that because you know it was just me 
getting the battery halfway out, taking a break, putting it onto the trailer, taking a break. So, yeah. So, all right, guys, let me. Okay, I can probably. Okay, I can just lift this up out. I'm going to unbolt that right there or down there, and I'm going to lift this up out and get it out of our way. So, stick around, guys. It ain't nothing. It just slides into that slot there. I don't know what you guys can. Slides in that slot on both sides, and this just holds it there. So, I'll take that bolt out and uh, we'll slide this up off here and set it over there on that trailer. I'm going to pressure wash all them batteries. The dates are. January of 2015 and November of 2014 so and they're never starts so I cannot believe they lasted this long nine years nine and a half years so <laughs> almost ten years that's unbelievable usually that's what you get out of a good interstate battery all right guys Monkey went to the store, got me some bleach. I don't know how much of that pressure washing you've seen, because every time I looked up, it quit recording. So, let's see. This is stuff I used on the boat in the Corvette, and it worked pretty good. And this is supposed to be a brand new spray bottle, and it's not spraying anything. I just filled it up. All right, let me get another bottle. They just pulled a trailer in about a month ago. Now it looks like they're pulling one out. Looks like that's the one they pulled in. Yeah, that looks like the one they pulled in. There was one back in there. Maybe they're taking it out, but yeah, there it goes. Okay, I found a simple green bottle. It was pretty much empty. But what I usually do is spray this. It's real cheap. She buys it at the Dollar, Dollar General store. And I leave it set. And usually it just starts washing away stuff. And it just says cleaning bleach, lemon scent, but it's better than any Clorox I've ever used. Now it's concentrated. So I'm going to spray the front ones down. I'll show you the front ones. Let me back you back out here. See, you can see it's starting to work already. So what I do is spray it on, let it run down, let it soak a couple minutes, and I'll do that a few times. See, you can see it's starting to work right there, those lines. It's amazing stuff. Clorox, I've used Clorox on that boat, and it didn't do anything. I mean... It cleaned it, but no better than soap and water would have. So I'm going to keep spraying this stuff down. I'm going to give it a couple coats. Then I'll wash it all off again. And then we'll see what it looks like. Okay, guys. Now i got to do the top. 
Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. Now let's see how the seats turned out. Yeah, a lot nicer. Now, I sprayed some of that on them mag hubcaps, but yeah, I think it changed them color. But anyway, I gotta do the top. Okay, so we got the top done. Looks a lot better. Now, about this, I got some more chipping to do on that. And then, um, I don't know, I may have to do a little bit of welding, I'm not sure, but, you know, if I get some heavy coats of paint on it, I think, uh, I think that'll help, that'll take care of that. Um, I think it'll be alright. I can always fix that later, because I'm not going to weld the floor in. Um, so it'll be able to be removed, I'd have to remove the batteries all again, but... You know, I think that's that's going to be all right. Uh, Monkey got me some paint too, so I'll just shoot it down with a whole lot of paint. Scrape off what I can, though. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm not restoring this thing like brand new or nothing, but I think it's going to be all right because these are the main ones, and this is where your control arm bolts onto. So I think it's going to be all right. If not, I can always fix it later. I've got welders and I've got knowledge, so yeah. All right, I'm not sure what I'm going to do now. I think I'm going to take a break. I was just, uh, I was just um, washing some of this off a little bit. I'm going to go in, get some simple green, and see what I can do with this. Um, I don't know. This is a canvas. I don't know if if that bleach will bleach it. You know make it discolor real bad or what but i mean anything's gonna look better than that but i'm gonna go see what i got guy guy that rolled his truck over here that one night guy gave me the four-wheeler and stuff he stopped by he's talking to me about a couple mini bikes and stuff he has and he apologized for all that and everything so <laughs> it's like man i ain't worried about that so but yeah let me go see what i got to put on that and then we'll go from there okay guys so this is where we're at it's painted up I think it's going to be all right uh, I'm contemplating on just putting a piece of plywood down there I got some steel around back I think I can hook on there and run across to give it more support I think I might go that route because if not I'm gonna have to wait till Monday to get a piece of steel I'd like to at least get the batteries back in it tomorrow that thing's not a big deal I can make another mount for that but that's where we're at right now so yeah the seats turned out good I mean you know you're not gonna get all of it that's that's where because this this thing was always down uh, 90% of the time it's been down the whole time we've had it um, but yeah I think uh, yeah I think that's what I might I might just do that and uh, if the wood rots out I still got to pull the batteries but it's easier to get a piece of wood than it is steel around here and probably cheaper But it's getting there <laughs> you know so uh i don't know if i'm gonna put these sides back on or not because it was always hot inside there she she had them on because she used to drive this from where they lived over she worked at walmart she used to drive it over there every day and then they would take it take it out to eat a couple times a week i think it was they would go out to eat and they would take it and they had them on there for rain I will probably put windshield back in it but I think I think I may just leave the sides off at least for the time being and then if I decide to put them on I may put uh, put another color on because I'm probably gonna paint this thing anyway monkey don't like the green <laughs> she don't like green so it needs painted anyhow 
Uh, yeah, so I think that's that's the route I'm gonna take with that. Got a bunch of wiring to do. Most of it's cleaned up. Just cleaning it up, you know, getting it all zip tied, making it look presentable. And then of course the, uh, we gotta do the, uh, I did wash wash that. And as you can see, it's all, it's all tattered and stuff, but I did wash it. Um, it did come out nice, but, uh, you know, I'm put ends back on, put ends back on, you know, the cables and make them as short as I can make them. That was just temporary, just so I could mess around with it, but I think that's what I'm going to do. Then I can get them batteries back in there. Um, I got to make up a couple. Look at my mess. I got to make up a couple of these. The other one's broke. Um, but I can just put a piece of bolt or put a weld bolt onto that. I don't know. Make just. I don't know. We'll have to see. See where that's all routed through. That just hooks around here comes up from underneath and the nuts that thing right there the nuts come up through here and that's what holds your batteries down and keeps them from flopping around but um so i can make up one of them that's not a big deal but i think yeah i'm thinking that's probably the route i'm going to go so anyway guys i want to say thanks for watching appreciate it i did wash the john deere it needs a paint job well i was looking at it i had to put a new belt on it i was looking at it underneath these floor mats on the running boards one side it's rusted through i may just get another set of fenders for this thing yeah you can see it right there it's rusting through uh but as you can see see how that paint just peels off it just peels off but on mine it wears off there's no peeling on that this is 1974 and that's uh oh my god i don't know that thing's way past its life but it's still running good so i'm still running it <laughs> uh maybe in a couple years i will get her a new one but yeah that's uh that's what we're looking at so anyway guys again thanks for watching i appreciate it shea bear the myth the man the legend off for now uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and I don't know I may put this under a playlist um, but I'll, I should have another one up tomorrow if it don't rain it's supposed to rain tonight at six o'clock it's not six yet but uh, so anyway that's what we're doing so stick around there'll be a part two to this and then maybe a part three I don't know as we go you know later on there may be other things we we need to do well there is a lot of things that need to be done like this is all going to be painted but i have to take that all off that whole piece will unbolt it's supposed to lift up so you can work on the motor but it's supposed to be hinged down there at the bottom and it's not it just bolted straight on so i can unbolt that and repaint that so that'll get a you know a gloss black so anyway guys again thanks for watching i appreciate it and we'll see you in the next one hope you're enjoying your weekend stay safe everyone bye bye take care